Hello guys, this is back to like kind of like an old thing. One, thank you for the support and go watch all these videos. These haven't watched, but no. The reason why I'm here today. Is to tell you guys something. Some very bad news. You cannot do no commentary gameplay of Nintendo games. And this affects a big community of people that do that. Because they've passed it. part that affects YouTubers. However, you may not simply upload or live stream an existing Nintendo video gameplay footage without your creative or editorial input or a copy of content created by someone else. Well, for example, mere copies of Nintendo promotional videos, trailers, tournaments, music, gameplay sequences, and art collections, etc., or content that can be considered equivalent or outside the scope of the guidelines. What that basically means is you can't make your own Mario music or what is breaking these guidelines. And I'll take a picture so on the community tab you guys can look at this more and study what it means so if I didn't say that loud enough you guys could not understand a single word I said you still can understand what this means you can't make Nintendo music or no commentary gameplay I mean you have to talk you have to. And here's the goofy part about that. What if you sound like this? But no. Let me tell you something. Nintendo keeps shooting themselves in the knee. What you like what you mean by that is they have done stupid sh like this in the past. They have went to fan Companies have done this before. It's stupid because it's a fan game. Like Lego, instead of buying the FNAF Lego game and paying the guy for it and asking him, hey, can you make more and we'll pay you? And we'll even ask Scott if this is okay. And if Scott said yes, Boom, you make a lot of money, Lego, because if everyone has to buy those games, because FNAF fans are dedicated, yes, you could even add in some lore that it was actually a kid from My Pop Goes playing with his little Legos. And the whole game is just someone's imagination, hearing these horror stories and making an imaginative recreation of it just like how we make videos of FNAF someone made a stop motion video and that's what you're playing through the entire time but no the reason why I think Nintendo keeps shooting themselves in the knee not actually why is why would they do it but my examples of them shooting themselves in the knee Super Mario Logan, or now known as SML, was thriving at a point. And I'll do an entire video about the Skibbity Toilet. Jeffy's Skibbity Toilet Adventure, because that's where, to me, it felt like the series kind of got gay. Is everything was fine until then. But. 
No, it was a big channel using Mario characters. Obviously, everyone knew it wasn't actually Mario or Luigi or anyone doing this. One, can you please bring back Luigi, though? Not like the actual character, but like recreate him to look like Mario, but like be a taller, slimmer, more successful one, so they have like a clash. Like Larry is his name, probably. But also, no. Because fan games. Fan games they've shot down before. Like one on Roblox. And other one. About Mario. I don't have an entire list. But I know they've done it before. And anyone that uses Mario gets shot. Down. And that's why I'm kind of scared, because in one of the recent shorts, I couldn't help it. That was in the background, like a poster of the character. I didn't mean to include that in the video, it just was there. But no, let me also explain. An old video we made, I'm also scared that's going to get shot down, because... It featured a certain character. Going to sleep forever. With a night night cannon. If you get what I mean by that. That's why I'm kind of scared. Because we have got strike down before. For what we've said as a joke. Or. Something. Or copyrighted. Or something but no we're fine right now no strikes I think let me actually check if we have no strikes also yeah we changed the name to the series too cuz just a little information we are I think I think we are planning to and also But no, the reason why this is such stupid is it's not letting your fan base branch out because Sonic has never done this. Sonic, people have made fan games, fan art, fan music, fan everything. And Sonic has been supported. That's the big difference between Sega and Nintendo. Nintendo does not let you do this where you make something out of you being a fan. If it is related to anything Nintendo owned, you are getting shot down. The only the only game that I've seen survive this is Mario and the Music Box. The game where you're in a mansion and there's spoopy booby ghosts. And the only reason that wasn't shot down is because basically the entire plot had nothing to do with him. Mario had nothing to impact. It was just they used Mario characters. It had no big impact on the story or anything. Literally, they just slapped a skin and the character's name into the game. So Nintendo probably could not sue them or knew if they did get them to take it down, that would have been their final straw and the fan base would be mad that they did something so stupid. So they knew it was just better to leave it there. With other games, they can shoot down because they know it's not going to get them in that much trouble by the fan base. And also, the only reason also Power World is still alive is 
it has a different story. The only thing that they would get them on is the character you play as and the monster that you've trained. But besides that, besides the that, if you greet, because not gonna lie, they are straight up copying the Pokemon designs, cause you know Anubis, the god, that's in Power World. He's literally just Lucario. If you take the model, not gonna lie, they straight up just ripped Pokemon's design. They could try the changes to have a more realistic design or go with the more chibi options. Making their eyes bigger and their proportions different. But also just modeling them more accurately to an animal than Pokemon does. Like, but yes, I do want to get the game because Pokemon with guns is funny. And I'm happy this game exists. Because, one, we need Nintendo to get a middle finger once in a while. And that didn't happen until Music Box. But, yeah. This sucks because no commentary gameplays can get shot down giving channel strikes. I don't think they should be able to do this. It's one, you t can have an option where people can take down a video but not strike them. But they have to email them and be like, oh, hey, there's a new policy, so this video is taken down, but you aren't, ha you don't have a strike on your channel. So they don't get strike off the platform, but they still don't have the video up. You get what I mean, Nin Nintendo, YouTube? You get what I mean? That would have been a good option to have for big companies like Nintendo of America. Also, Nintendo 2, the Switch 2 is coming eventually. But no, this is stupid. Nintendo, you shot yourself. Because the people that play the game get you branched out. The trailer ones also give you branched out. Because if they reach the trailer to their audience, their audience gets to see it. Many thousands of people see it. the trailer. Made by you. And I don't think they're cutting out the Nintendo Direct part or anything that's saying it's from Nintendo. Like, I get that if they cut out that part of it. Where it's like not crediting that it's a Nintendo game, but I feel like everyone knows. Mario is a Nintendo icon. But yeah, I think you should let them blossom. I think directly ripping characters or I think if they do this place of favor making content farms of their characters not good because no one likes content farms content farms are lazy and stupid but yeah this is the entire video of me just ranting and I'm sorry if that's boring to you but I had to say something because this makes me mad that Nintendo does not let their fandom blossom into a beautiful fandom flower. But Sega does. Because Sega straight up, I think, just straight up used a fan game for an April Fool's thing as one of their games is Sonic. Like the mystery Sonic game. I haven't completed that. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue it. I lost my Steam account, so I have to replay 
the parts that I were at, and then I have to do that. And don't worry for any Garden of Ban Ban fans. I will post the Ban Ban 2 Part 2 when I figure out how to, because it's in CapCut right now. Just letting you guys know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will do Garden of Bam Bam 3, 4, 6, 7, and then when 5th comes out, 5th. But love you guys, and bye.